Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. So Ubuntu 18.04 LTS came out on 26th of April 2018. Within a couple of days of the final release, I installed it and I've been using it uh, since as my primary Linux distribution. So it has been just about three weeks now and this is what my experience has been so far using Ubuntu 18.04. So without further ado, let's get started. Now just to give you a brief idea about where I'm coming from, the very first distribution Linux distribution that I ever used is actually Ubuntu. I think the version back then was a 6.06 .06 LTS. Uh, back then you could actually ask them for a CD and they would ship it to you uh, without any extra costs. Uh, I did that, I, they shipped me the CD for Ubuntu, the installation disk, and I installed it on my PC and immediately fell in love with uh, it. Uh, back then they were using GNOME 2, of course I did not understand that much at that point of time because I was just getting into Linux, but slowly uh, as new versions came in, I fell in love with Ubuntu and I used it for an extensive amount of time. But ever since Ubuntu switched over to Unity, I actually have never used uh, vanilla Ubuntu uh, at almost like at all. I would install it. I installed 14.04 a couple of times. I installed 16.04 a couple of times and usually I uh, uninstalled and switched over to some other di distribution within like uh, a couple of days or something because I, I never really liked Unity as a desktop environment. Uh, I felt it was clunky, I felt it was slow, the animations got in my way of working uh, and it's just all in all when I'm trying to get something done fast it never really, uh, I never really got accustomed with the work workflow that I have and to switch it over to Unity. So uh, when I first heard that Ubuntu is switching to GNOME as their primary desktop environment I was happy and I was excited as well and I used Ubuntu 17.10 for about I think three months I absolutely loved it and now 18.04 came out I installed it and so far uh, this is my experience and just to brief it like in one line I've been loving it so far so now uh, I know the community is pretty divided when it comes to GNOME 3 uh, some people love it, some people absolutely hate it. I personally think that GNOME is a very well thought out des desktop environment. Now it might be different uh, as in it's not a tra traditional desktop environment like LXD or XFCE or something like that, even to some degree Pantheon. Uh, but it's not traditional, but I feel it's a very well thought out desktop environment and it's, it, once you get accustomed to it, it can take a couple of days to get accustomed with all the things that where everything is, but once you uh, get accustomed with it, uh, it's just a very well thought out desktop environment and it's e extremely easy to get accustomed and set uh, it with your own workflow. It does not have a lot of customizations like KDE, but GNOME is probably my most favorite desktop environment right now. Now, I have always liked minimalistic desktop environments like LXD, like LXQT. LXQT is something I'm pretty excited about as it gets more and more mature. XFCE is something I've used for a long time. but. Uh, for my personal uh, use uh, right now, uh, um, the, this uh, machine is a, a laptop that I use for school. This is my secondary laptop and this is what I carry around all the time. I'm carrying it to my school. I'm doing an internship right now. I carry it around to my office uh, and at, I'm using it at my home. And one of the key features that I absolutely need is plug and play uh, multi-monitor support so when you just uh, right now I am using a second monitor with this just to show you give you a demo so this is the uh, window I'm running on my uh, second monitor and it's just oh, when you uh, plug in a second monitor it sort of remembers all the windows how the windows were laid out when you have a 
a lot of windows open so it sort of remembers where they were open in the first place and this even if you disconnect and reconnect it the very next day it the windows when you open up it will still open up on the monitor that was uh, that the window was last in so that is a huge time saver i believe so that you can just immediately get on with my work and the layouts were exactly the same then this is something i had difficulty doing with any of the minimalistic desktops be it lxd be it xfc yes they support sometimes you have to manually go to uh, the display settings and configure uh, which the, the, which uh, displays stays where and everything and that is just something i'm not willing to deal with so i have a like since I have a lot of work to get done wherever I am, whether it's being on college or whether it's in uh, office, I just have to, to get it done fast and I just want something that just that doesn't get into my way and stuff just works. Now, this is not how, the, uh, how it is set up right now, it's not how it comes out of the box. Of course, I have made my own customizations to, to it. I'm using a custom theme and a custom icon pack. Links uh, will be down in the description below about where you can find them. And also, I've put the panel on the bottom and that is pretty much it. And also, Ubuntu has made some of some customizations of their own. This is not how it comes out of the box. So, like uh, right now, uh, Vanilla GNOME does not support uh, desktop icons, but Ubuntu has gone ahead and installed that extension. So you have uh, support for desktop icons by default and that is something every change that i have found so far i really really like the changes that ubuntu has made to gnome and also uh gnome is a huge project and unity was main maintained mostly just by canonical and so the very fact that now both of the teams can work to make one desktop environment better is a huge thing and i think it's for the betterment of the linux community in general so that is the first thing about why, why I'm enjoying so much uh, Ubuntu 18.04 with you know so far loving it I like the workflow I like how you can mo manage uh, multiple uh, virtual desktops from right from like with the click of one button uh, I like the fact that you can just press the Windows key and start typing an applicant name of an application and uh, you can like uh, like start off uh, start the application or launch the application I can use this panel down in the bottom like just like a, a dock or a general panel uh, so overall I just love the workflow of Gnome and I got accustomed to it so much that I right now I sort of can't live without it that's the first uh, thing that I love about Ubuntu 18.04 the second thing that I saw let me see if I can uh, google it up and search it for you so when I was first installing uh, Ubuntu it gave me an option right on the install just let me google it if I can uh, search an image or something uh, yeah so when you're installing Ubuntu 18.04 you will get this option right on the uh, installer itself and it will uh, prompt you if you want uh, a minimal install and that is something I think on every uh, distribution should incorporate and this is not just the uh, Ubuntu the vanilla Ubuntu version any of the Ubuntu distributions Ubuntu official flavors I think that is using this installer except for one I think if it I think it's Ubuntu budgie except for that every other distribution has this option and what it does it does is Ubuntu uh, by default used to ship a lot of bloatware I feel and a lot of other distributions are uh, official flavors did that too like even you talk about something like Ubuntu the KDE version or Ubuntu the uh, that the version that came with unity they installed a lot of bloatware something I never really liked I just want uh, only the software that I use so the other things just doesn't 
like clog up my system even if it's not acti actively using system resources just the fact that they are installed and it just clutters up my menu I never really, really like that I like a clean system and I only install applications that I use so previously what I had to do is to manually go ahead and uninstall every single application that I wasn't using this just makes that so much easier what it does is it just installed the necessary packages to run the system and a few utilities and the browser uh, in this case uh, Firefox so it, it just as an example it doesn't even install any music or video player by default you have to go ahead and install it by on your own now if you don't want that the option is still there if you want to do a full install and that is what I th why I think this is a great thing and every distribution should so sort of have this option that if you want you can go ahead do the entire install but if you want just a minimal install and I feel like this is the option that most of the power users are going to choose this is what you do just a simple click just the basic applications and that's it and that is another great thing in Ubuntu 18.04 and I think this is a huge step in the right direction for Canonical and for Ubuntu I hope other distributions start incorporating this uh, into their installers as well now the next thing I really like about uh, Ubuntu 18.04 of I liked at least very much is that uh, on the very first boot you get to choose some of the settings they tell you a little bit about how GNOME works and everything and there you have the option to turn off telemetry uh, so if you turn that off they won't be collecting any more data uh, even though I didn't really mind the data that was Ubuntu collecting before, they were just simply collecting some system uh, hardware data of its uh, hardware you are installing it on and stuff like that. I never really mind, but I know uh, personally a lot of people and even the community, uh, most of the community doesn't like that and that was previously enabled by default and I think they were collecting some other data as well on 1604. The, the entire uh, incorporation of Amazon in search results and uh, Ubuntu collecting search data and stuff like that. I never really liked that. So the option to have telemetry on the very first boot, turn off telemetry on the very first boot is a huge thing. So these are the uh, three things I feel like the so far I have liked the most. And all of them I feel like is a huge step in the right direction for Ubuntu and for Linux in general. These are things I feel like these all three things are something except for GNOME of course, but the desktop environment of course, separate distributions will uh, you keep using separate desktop environments and that's a good thing that's the beauty of Linux you have the choice but uh, the other two I feel like every distribution should incorporate if they have any sort of telemetry either within the installer or uh, like on the very first boot or something if there should be an option to turn it off and also the option to minimal install the right on the installer just the minimal installation option it's a huge thing now I did find a couple of bugs uh, sort of uh, onto the negative points uh, so far I found I did find a couple of uh, bugs uh, the most annoying one being uh, at least for me has been that sometimes you would just click on a particular applications uh, or a particular application and it just won't show up so you will wait for uh, two to three seconds four seconds five seconds sometimes even more than that and it will just uh, come up with a error message now uh, this is happening to me more than I would like it to so, like to see it now these are the sort of uh, applications or sort of bugs that would you would expect from a major release of a huge distribution like Ubuntu but and something these are some certain things the other bugs that I found are also like pretty negligible you can it doesn't bother me that much but this one this happens way too much than I would like it to be the case now uh, but I found it to be mostly happening with the default terminal 
I am used to using the default terminal that Ubuntu comes with. I did not use uh, any other, uh, I or at least I did not install any other uh, terminal application. I'm, uh, I am using GNOME Terminal. And the, the terminal is one application that it happened a lot with and the other one being a VLC. Of course, I can't show it to you right now unless it just uh, like decides to happen right now. But uh, other than that, these are the two applications. Sometimes I'll just click a video. VLC is the only uh, video player that I'm using uh, and the only video player that I have installed and it is happening to that so if sometimes i would just try to open up a video it just won't launch i click it two three times four times and after like 10 12 seconds it just comes up with an error message and you just quit the error message again to try relaunching it and it almost immediately works every time at least that has been the case for me now but it's annoying to say the least and uh, other bugs they are pretty negligible as i already said so this is what my experience has been so far using Ubuntu 18.04 in the past three weeks. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. I feel almost all the changes that Canonical has made to Ubuntu are a step in the right direction. I like uh, the decision of switching over to GNOME 3 from Unity. I think in the long run, this will help. Uh, or this will benefit both the communities to grow both Ubuntu and GNOME as a desktop environment. Uh, also the other changes I talked about, uh, was things that I have liked, uh, the few bugs that are still there, I expect them to get fixed very soon. Overall, I'll probably be staying in Ubuntu 18.04 as my primary distribution for uh, a very long time. I've got so much accustomed to uh, the very workflow of GNOME and as I already mentioned I'm um, so far loving it it just gets the job done so that will be it for this video but I want to know what your thoughts are about Ubuntu 18.04 are you using it right now are you using uh, any other uh, official Ubuntu flavor or any other Ubuntu derivatives uh, do you like the decision of Ubuntu switching over to GNOME 3 or would you have liked to uh, see them uh, stick to Unity or move over to any other desktop environment? Let me know what your opinion is in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.